Hey guys, uh, Rip Superchargers here, working on a brand new project. This may look a little different than what we normally have because it is. Uh, Rip will be introducing a little later on this year a 5.7 liter Hemi kit. You can see here that this is now disconnected. So the blower is actually just uh, mocked up in terms of where it's gonna go. This is a 2010, well, 2009 to 2011 uh, 5.7 liter Hemi with a five speed automatic. It's a stock truck. 9,000 miles. Uh, Rip does own this truck, so it's its test mule. We're doing some NA testing here, and what we're going to do, it's a little different, is uh, we're going to do three passes in a row. Uh, this truck is cold. It has no heat in it whatsoever. It's just warmed up, so it hasn't made any passes as of yet, uh, and we're going to see what kind of horsepower loss and or gain there is as you continually make passes. All right, let's run it up. Point seven, fifteen hundred, clean slate. Okay, that's pass number one. Slower down, let's make it pass two. Not bad, three hundred pounds of torque there 280 maybe give or take all right run her up rather interesting here the horsepower is starting to peak and so is the torque a lot lower because we're starting to put some heat into it this is an uninterrupted pass the dyno operator John here is running it again this is a naturally aspirated truck stock exhaust stock cats stock air intake let's make one more pass So that's significant so let's let's talk about that for a second once your uh, 5.7 liter Hemi VVTi engine warms up there's actually a substantial horsepower and torque loss we made no changes whatsoever to the dyno settings at all so if we were to just press F7 here go down to uh, add max power you're gonna see that 267 was actually the last pass that we just made uh, so respectfully speaking if we broaden this now I want to make clear here that this 4,000 rpm represents torque converter lockup anything before this the truck will downshift and therefore we really can't get a, uh, a feasible pass because you'll get bumps in, in the power curve so we have to start in the high uh, 3000s in order to get this full pass here and then you can see that the truck actually levels itself off in terms of power and then just gives you what it gives you and that's it so uh, if we were to go down into uh, engine speed and maybe uh, change this a bit to uh, uh, 3,000 to uh, 7,000 okay uh, we'll get a little bit broader reading uh, and you could see that there's a there's a, uh, a good run what do you got here remember 19 20 21 so your cold pass 19 capped at 300 pounds of torque and 390 horsepower and then it just fell down to 267 well enjoy that info guys uh, we'll be back with the supercharged one before you know it. Rip Supercharges out.